Hey guys, I want to talk about the new dynamic loot changes in Escape from Tarkov. Now, I understand my interpretation of the concept of dynamic loot, but I don't understand what it is that BSG are trying to do. Let me explain why. So BSG just buffed loot spawns by 27%, which is cool, especially for labs runners from what I've been seeing. That's my cat, Tribble. Great, good timing cat. But what I've noticed is that the loot's popping up in the same locations and spots every time. Granted, the loot that's spawning is varying each time, both in type and value, but it's spawning there quite consistently, which to me isn't dynamic loot. When I originally got hyped for dynamic loot, it was because it would force players to move around the map more, spend more time in raids and go to different spots. However, if you're just putting more loot into the game in the same spots every raid people are just going to consistently go to the same spots and I thought initially I thought it was just me um, and not I it was just my perception of, of what was going on uh, and then I watched some other streamers and realized they were going through the same thing and it wasn't just me first things first though I'd like to address the uh, the whole idea of giving out percentages without a baseline I don't like it when people give you a percentage without telling you what that total is derived from. 27% sounds like a lot, but 27% of one is actually jackal compared to 27% of a thousand. This is why it's really hard for people, at least I think really hard for people to get excited about understanding percentage changes apart from to say, oh, there's more loot. And then they run around and trying to figure out what that actually means. Now, if I was taking an educated guess at how the loot system's working in Tarkov, I would say that each potential loot location has a loot pool spawn type. We'll call it A, B, and C for ease. And within that pool, they have a set percentage chance of spawning items 1, 2, and 3, with more expensive items having less chance to spawn. What BSG have done is increase the chance that any given location has a greater chance to spawn an item. Let's say point A had a 20% spawn chance of an item. A one in five that an item will spawn in that location. Now you add 27% to that and that becomes a 47% chance. Those aren't bad odds at all if you're in a room that has 15 spawns. Here's the real kicker though. We don't know on, if that's 27% on. on top of what was the existing percentage chance. So have they taken whatever the existing calculation was and given it 27% more of a chance? Or have they given it 27% of the maximum chance of loot spawning? And ultimately those percentages don't mean anything anyway because we don't know what the, the minimum maximum chances are unless it's just it doesn't which is a zero or it's a guaranteed which is 100%. Do you, you see what I mean? You see why it doesn't really mean anything. That's working on the principle that it's on a scale of 1 to 100. Problem is every spawn now has that chance. We're talking about loose loot here obviously not items in boxes. And I suspect there's no room limit for those spawn chances which essentially means you could walk into a room and have it completely littered with with items. This is why maps went from spawning loads of loot to nothing and then back to loads of loot again. Realistically, what that would mean using that logic, if you're going to try and loot locations, you're better off looting locations that have a higher number of loose spawn loots, which is why Labs is such a predominant example of a map that suffers greatly or gets buffed strongly every time they do these large loot percentage changes. Side note, my a piece of advice for this would be go to any location that is in a really small um, concentration of a lot of loot in, in that area. So on Woods, for example, the USEC camp, uh, basically anywhere on labs. Um, I'd have thought, I haven't checked it yet, I'd have thought Kibber would be another good example of a site that's going to spawn a lot of items because they've got so many loot spawns in such a small space. Anything like that is going to spawn a lot more loot. But to put it another way, um, the loot is generated by what I believe is the, the following most extremely simplified process. Does this spot contain loot? Yes, no. If yes, 
what does it contain from this table of predefined loot? That, that's quite literally in the simplest form of, of how it works. Each spot on the map then runs this process for its spawns. And it appears those spots don't have any bearing on, on each other in the surrounding area. Which means you can end up with massive amounts of loot or, or no loot potentially. That is technically dynamic. It's just not dynamic in the way that I suspect a lot of the players want to see it though. From my experience, what players mostly want to see is loot dispersed across the whole of the map, rather than just in key locations. Now I've got a couple of suggestions which would be much more effective ways to do it. Um, the first one being to either section the map, make the game decide what loot should spawn within that section and then spread it around, or have the game decide how much of what loot should spawn on the map as a whole, with a minimum and maximum loot pool, and then spread that dynamically across the whole of the map in corresponding sections. For example, um, using using the example we had before, slot A and C are industrial and food respectively. So a water filter may spawn in either of those, but they wouldn't spawn in slot B because that's weapons. The game would decide at the beginning of the match what loot was going to be on the map, then it would equally spread that across the whole of the map in the predefined acceptable locations, or possibly a combination of both, resulting in gear being balanced across the whole of the map essentially. This in turn means players know there'll be a set minimum and maximum amount of loot on the map, but they won't know where to look. As opposed to the current way it appears to work, which is that the map could be full or empty of either players and or loot. I've heard a lot of counter arguments for this, um, that the game is supposed to be chance and luck based. You're not supposed to know what you'll get and where you'll get it, which technically doesn't make sense anyway, because let's face it, high loot spawn rooms. Anyway, RNG doesn't actually work Technically speaking, the way players perceive RNG to actually work. It doesn't technically exist the way players think it exists. The real art is in making sure there's enough loot on the map so that the players can find stuff without feeling like it's been hand placed before they got there. The other kind of argument I've seen is, is, is not a good one, is that it would be too difficult to do. I just ignore anyone that says that. They clearly don't know anything about design or development if that's their take. Um, and I'm not interested in arguing with, with the point with them. It's a far more complicated process to do than what's currently implemented in the game, but it's not impossible to do. Of course, all this guesswork would be unnecessary, even though it's fun, if BSG would explain more succinctly what their interpretation of dynamic loot is or what they're aiming to achieve with it and how they intend to execute it. But I can't see them doing that anytime soon. And I don't really blame them, to be fair. Players don't need to know how this stuff works. They want to know how this stuff works. And there's a big difference between those two statements. As long as it works correctly, it doesn't matter what goes on underneath the bonnet. Problem is, it isn't working correctly currently, or rather it's not working how the players perceive that it should be. And we can't really guess how BSG wants it to be. So we don't know from their perspective whether it's working correctly or not. I feel that players are frustrated because they're trying to understand be simply because it isn't working properly. So they're trying to give active feedback to try and help explain their frustrations, but don't possess the knowledge maybe in a lot of instances to understand why it's happening the way it is. I think the vast majority of players probably wouldn't care how it works if it worked effectively. And I think that because if you think of all of the things that work within the game, really simple things that work straightforward that you never have to think about. Opening doors, for example. A while ago, because servers, you were worth going back a while now. You'd open a door on a server and it'd open well on for on one end, but not on the opposing player's end, right? And that was a massive point of contention because you could get killed in a doorway and you didn't know the door was open. Note how the fact that now that that problem no longer exists, no one cares about it. That's why it's at the forefront of conversation is because it's impeding players trying to play the game, which I can kind of understand. Now I hope this helps, at least to help you understand it a little bit more. If you've found it interesting, please do hit the like button. Also, I'm pretty eager to hear your thoughts on the topic in the comment section as always. Specifically, what dynamic loop means to you, the player, uh, and how you'd like to see it implemented. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one.